Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be continuing the incident logs part 3 um, by Reach Animations. I'm still sorry if I say that wrong, um, but this one being called Pursuit. Also, I just want to say that the um, rest of the incident log part 1 might take a little bit because um, <clears throat> We just had a big Wi-Fi issue with Xfinity because, like, they were having trouble with their servers. And now, I don't know if it's because of that or if it's because of my computer, but I'm unable to run any, like, editing programs just to combine the two clips. Maybe do a little few tweaks here and there. But, um, no, nah, because because of the Wi-Fi, the video, um, the, just, it just stopped recording and the video stopped working. So I am going to have to edit that, and because either my computer or because of what just happened, uh, it's going to take me a minute before I can get to editing. But we shall continue on with the series regardless, because it's really cool and Reach is a, re a really cool guy. So let us get right into the video. I think this one's about Foxy because he's on the thumbnail. February 14th, 1984. 3.32 p.m. Hello? Also, I have captions on. Sorry about that. Hello? Hey, Steven. It's Jake. How are you? Jake Wilson. Oh, hey. I don't think we've got a last yeah, name fine. about him before. How about you? I'm good, I'm good. Listen, Steven. I know it's late, but the other guard didn't show up for his maintenance shift today, and Foxy needs to go through his routine to make sure he's ready for the stage. I highly doubt Foxy has a routine. I know it's a stretch, and I'm well aware that it is your day off, but I am far too busy to do it myself. Well, uh, what time would you need? Okay, to... I look your. Look, I, I get it, you're like a boss and all, and you kind of have to, you know lay this down for the dude but you are still the boss and a lot of bosses are kind of jerks especially if they work for fads for entertainment so i'm pretty sure this guy would have been more like hey dude hey uh so one of the other guys i don't know what happened but he didn't call in so we're gonna need you to do the uh foxy maintenance routine yeah yeah i know it's your day off i do apologize for that we'll pay you overtime but you're gonna have to get in here man i i got a lot of meetings i gotta get to good good uh 6 p.m all right see ya like, that'd be more accurate, like, how that call would go, but props to the voice actors and or actors. 9 p.m. Jake, I don't think I can make it. That's like 30 minutes from now. I could work with 9.30 then. I... Jake, I had plans with my girlfriend tonight, and this would kind of screw it up. I haven't seen her in days, man. Steven, I get it. I told you... Look, man, I'm sorry, but you want that 5.50... Dollar a uh, uh, five dollars and fifteen cents. You're gonna want to come in today. All right. Do you know how much like overtime you could get for this? I'll pay you a good buck if you come in. All right. Just please, man. He's got to be ready by tomorrow. I get it. I just I need you in here, Steve. It won't take long. You just need to run the program and wait for the diagnostics to come back clean. You could be out of here by ten p.m. I, I don't know, Jake. I'm only 10.30 because apparently he's got a 30-minute drive to get to the bloody pizzeria. All right, Stephen, how about this? I'll pay you extra for tonight. See, I... see, exactly. That's all you had to start with. That's, like, literally, like, one in the first sentence after saying, Hey, I'm gonna need you to come in early. I'm gonna need you to come in today. I know it's your day off. I will pay you extra. That's all you had to do. Like, legitimately... I get it. Bad timing, but still. I need your help. We gotta keep this place going. It's a team effort. You okay. wanted this job? You're gonna have to work for this job. And the money. I'm sure, I'll come in. I just, I just don't get why the other guard didn't come in. It's stupid that I have to do his job on my time off. You know? Uh, I think maybe he might have been murdered or something. Just Anj. No. I get it, Steve. Trust me. I'll be having a word with the other guard as soon as all of this is taken care of. Okay. So did my man just not call in or anything? He just kind of just didn't show up that 
Man, talk about having bad employees. Okay, well, I'll see you in a bit then. Sounds good. Thanks again, Steve. I appreciate you. Don't call me Steve. Mm hmm Bye. Bye. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. They called me in. I gotta go. I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault. Jake was like, oh, we the other guy didn't come in and I can't do it. So I gotta go. I'm sorry. Movie night's canceled. February 14th. It's now 8.42 p.m. Is she calling the babe? I'm, I had to cover a shift. I won't be able to make it for our night out. Rachel Dorsey. Hey, Steven. You've been planning this night for weeks now. I know, babe. I'm so sorry. It's just Jake really needed me tonight, and he offered to pay me extra. I didn't want to leave him high and dry, you know? Well, you're leaving me high and dry as a result. Babe, Do I get it. I'm just as disappointed. The good thing is well, that well, you going to be at the end of the night? So if anything, we could save Wet and low. <laughs> and I'll come over there to your place. Sound good? Yeah, I guess. You know, Stephen, I still think this close guy is sticky. That's what I'm talking about. He seems so unorganized and unprofessional. And based on what you've told me, there is almost no team involved. If anything, it just sounds like to me that he's using you, Stephen. Exactly. Well, not using, but, um, it does feel a little suspicious. Uh, I'm sure he's fine. He's just a bit frustrated because the other guard didn't come in. Trust me, babe, there isn't much... I still have a feeling he got murked. still hang out tonight. I know what it is. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. How did I not get that by the... T I really gotta get better with holidays. <laughs> Valentine's Day. It's fine, babe. I get it. Here, here, babe. I also don't gotta go in tomorrow. I'm begging you. I can make this up to you. Alright? Whatever you want. Whatever we had planned for tonight, since I don't know what they had planned, we'll do it tomorrow, and it'll be twice better because I'll be paying for everything. Alright? With that with that extra, like, five, six bucks, I, I will treat you well, my dear. I am sorry, but, like, I gotta go. <laughs> Do your thing. I'll be here. Thank you for understanding, babe. I know it's such we haven't gotten a chance to hang out in days. It's hitting me too, baby. I miss you. I miss you too. Work has been taking me away so much, I barely feel like I've gotten seen these past couple of weeks. Dude, I'm having the same situation with a friend right now. Except they don't have a job. It's just like life. And it's like, dude, I haven't been able to talk to you in like a week now. Please, I beg you. One night, that night was supposed to be tonight, and they're like, something came up, and I'm like, dang it! It really hurts me when, when I can't hang out with them. Here, I'll grab ice cream on my way back, okay? I'll get a big tub of chocolate fudge, just like you like it, and everything will be fine. That doesn't sound too bad, right? That sounds great. Let's get done first. Chocolate fudge. I don't think that actually tastes that bad, but I don't think it tastes that good either. Like, I feel like brownie would be better over fudge, but like, personal opinion. Okay, I want to see you. I will. I'll be in and out. I'll be over there. I feel like I've been dragging this four minutes out for like ten minutes. Be safe, okay? I will. I love you too. All right, bye, babe. Bye. Bye. It is now nine twenty-eight p.m. on the same day because yeah. Jake, I'm here. Let's get this going. Mm. All right, all right, I'm coming. Give me a moment here. Dude, I have a lot of things that need to be done. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, better question is, why do they always have a camera set up? Like, does does Jake just like record these for some reason? He's a weird dude. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he did just record these for his own pleasure. Oh, thank you for coming in, Steve. Really, man, I appreciate it. Tell me what I gotta do now. Right, right. I know you have a dumb foxy before, but trust me, his routine is very simple. It's just 
just like the pretext for the other three. Go to page 32, read all of the instructions, and as soon as you're done, you can leave. I'll lock the place up for tonight. All right. Thank you, Steve. I'll be in my office for now, but please don't interrupt. I'm conducting very important business right now. Okay, so he's going to be actively in the building, so if anything goes wrong, like Bonnie deciding to make a creepy fucking face at me, then then it'll be alright. It'll be good, because uh, he'll be there, and he could- I'm hoping he'll call the cops if something goes wrong. Like, like I get my face bitten off, or, or I get stabbed in the arm, or, or, you know, I get slit in the throat, because this is a fox with a sharp hook. Not made of plastic, because this was also Afton. Uh, Mitchell, Michaels, I do not care about your products. Leave me alone. Anyways, um, I I think this guy may be Afton. He's got a British accent, so like that's accounted for. So like, that was creepy. Um, so I feel like he he could maybe be Afton. There's a chance. I'm not gonna say for certain that he is because I I don't know personally. Um, if it is Afton, that'd be pretty neat, but from the, uh, the first incident logs, Afton had a deeper voice, so it might not be him. <sighs> Alright, Foxy, let's get you in good shape so I can get the hell out of here. I got that. Activation. Press the blue button to activate startup mode. Then prompt the command console with the red button, which will open the curtains and immediately enter Foxy into diagnostic. I like to imagine, like, you know how there's the security office? I like to imagine there's another room, like, um, like right here. Like, like, um, sorry. Um, I'm trying to, like, picture, I'm trying to make it so that you guys can picture. Anyways, there's a little box area where the console is that's, like, um, like on the wall where the drawings, the fan, and the TV is. Like, if you push through that wall, there's another room, and that's like the console room, I'd assume. I don't think they're doing this from the office. I don't know why they would. Finish, press the red button once again to close the curtains, and make sure to unplug any power sources from Foxy to prevent any shorting issues overnight. All right. Sounds just like the other three. And... Now testing. Performance Real fast before I, I um I shit my pants from being so scared. Uh, <laughs> um I love the sound that coins make when you flip them. Like it's just got that nice cling sound. I apologize, that just popped into my brain. Oh, you learn that was going to join me in hunting some booty. Booty! Me, this I can see why they needed a diagnostic drone. You and my friend are getting several console issues. Not surprised considering how much the damn things move around. I wouldn't be surprised if it walked off the stage and actually started talking to me. Don't say that, man. You don't want to know what will happen if you say that, man. But anyways, let's get these errors written down. Okay, so, um, several voice problems. I wasn't paying too close attention to his movement, but they seemed a bit janky from what I could see. Um... So those seem to be um, a little bit of a problem. Right. But it's not like Chica where her voice just completely stopped. It just kind of went, eh, and then continued. While Chica's went, eh. Let's get you back so it's not like a serious issue. One last thing before I head out. Let's see if the handbook says anything else. Dude. What? This is ridiculous. Delivery is supposed to be next month. I told you. I I can't get them to you by next week. I have simply way too much on my hands. What the hell was she yelling about? Like Jake. Sorry, I had to read it because I, I know I wouldn't have been able to like hear it. Where's that damn camera? I gotta see what's going on.
Dude, do not leave Foxy on still. Turn that mofo off and then go see what Jake's talking about. Find out about me and Henry betrayed me. Lay low. You cannot have anyone knowing about how I came to bed. No one. I don't care about the employees. They know nothing. If anything, they will help shield us from the law until we are really in the clear. I'm not worried about him. He doesn't look in the back, and the cold smell goes a bit past. Uh, are you guys actively planning out my murder while I'm standing outside? That isn't very cool, man. <laughs> Okay, for starters, I'm walking the fuck away after I hear that. I'm going back to Foxy. I'm shutting off the stage and I'm leaving. Simple as that. I would have already had the stage shut off because I don't think maintenance is like my forte with Foxy, just the main three. Even if it is, I feel like I don't give a shit anymore since this dude said he was going to murder me and that my expense means nothing to him. So... Uh, I feel pretty worthy. I feel like pretty appreciated right now. Um, I'm gone, man. The second I hear that, I'm I'm just leave. I'm I might even just leave the stage on just for them to deal with Foxy. But my man should go. See, he's saying bye. If if he would have been gone. I have a feeling that man's gonna pop out of the room, see him standing there, and just flip. He really hide behind the three boxes and he didn't see you? Gotta tell Rachel. No, the cops. We gotta hear about this. Okay, for starters, you gotta leave. Don't worry about talking to the police or anybody about this until you get the f*** out of the building. Where's Foxy? Wait. Where's the fox? The fox? Man, I get it. You've been, like, not working here for, like, a while. But I feel like you should know their names. They're not, like, complicated. Like they get later. Fox is moving in me. This is so much better than the first maintenance or the first incident logs. Uh that's scary. I told him he should have left. When he had the chance. Okay, so he seems to have pretty janky movement. Now, I don't know what he'd look like when he's running. He's fast, sure. But we are faster, and his joints are old. I'm just saying, make your way to the exit. And bolt that shit and really hope that Jake did not lock you in there. And the next brand I have a feeling Jake locked him in there. I don't know how to play DD, sorry, but I don't know how to I'm not gonna play in your campaign. Okay, well now I just can't see Foxy. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, he did lock him in. Dude, you do not want to be loud right now. I get it, you're, you're, but you do not want to be loud. All right, that mofo is still looking for you. You don't want to make too much noise. Yeah, you see the consequences? Look, man. Uh, uh, COVID, please don't stand so close to me. Like, six feet, and then you could kill me, but, like... Where's the wolf? Ah! Oh, I don't- <laughs> Jamie Jones' locker. Um... I don't know if he got stabbed, or if the dude just punched him in the gut. Either way, that's gonna hurt a lot, and if he did get stabbed, that's, like, maybe, like, you're gonna have to get a tetanus shot, because I'm pretty sure his- his hook would be a little bit rusty. I don't know. Okay, so I'm assuming he did just punch him in the stomach. You see, Stephen, if you would have just left like I told you to, you wouldn't be in this situation. Oh, hi, Jake. Now tell me, what did you hear from that phone call? <coughs> I didn't hear anything. <coughs> you liar! You heard me talking about those kids, right? I know you did. My boy, I have cameras for myself around the place, too. Please. <coughs> Please, I won't say anything. <coughs> Just let me go. Please. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, my friend. You heard something you weren't supposed to hear. <coughs> I told you. He should have just spoke for it. It's not your fault your curiosity got the best of you. It's a shame. I was looking forward to getting to know you. No! Stop! Stop it! Kill him. Stop! Okay, so now he got stabbed. Um... Consequences. All right. Speaking of consequences, Rachel was already suspicious of him. Um, you know she's gonna get digging, and you know for a fact she's gonna find something, and she will try her best to tear you down after to find him. And it'll already be too late, and I get that. But like, he doesn't understand what will happen if he murdered Stephen, or if you know he just didn't murder Stephen, but you know. Up. You should have played by the rules, foolish lad. Enjoy your time. Is that just is that is that, is that his body? Like. <laughs> just sitting here watching this man like fucking choke on his own blood I really am huh 9:35 p.m. 
or sorry, 10. I don't know why I said nine. Just because it's been like a consistent date for like the entirety of the video and now it's like 10. Hey Steven, I hope you're doing all right. Listen, let's try and plan something tomorrow after your shift, okay? Call me when you get home. Ah! I'm sorry! <laughs> 11.20 p.m. Oop, sorry. Hit my microphone. Hey, starting to get a little worried about you. Please call me as soon as you can, baby. I miss you. I'm sorry, Rachel. Oh, hi. I'm Steve Bloom. And I voiced thousands of characters, including Wolverine, Starscream, Severelios from Star Wars, Tank Dempsey from Call of Duty, Spike from Cowboy Bebop, and- I was trying to figure out if I knew any of the characters. 12.54 p.m. That's not right. It should be a.m., you fool. We just went from p.m., didn't we? Yeah. That should be AM. Unless it's like the next day, but like, I don't know why we've jumped so far. Steven, I don't know what you're doing right now, but I am so worried about you, baby. I haven't heard anything from you in hours. And yeah, hours. Dude, you got your date wrong. You got your time slot wrong, foolish fool. <laughs> Steven, call me. I'm scared. Oh. Oh my God! Please tell me it's Steven. Uh, hello. Hello. This is Rachel. Um. Jake. Yeah. Henry! That's my former friend. Uh, what does that supposed to mean? Is he okay? I need you to relax, Rachel. I don't know what's happening in that restaurant, but I do know that Steven is in trouble. With that said, he's already dead. I need your help. With what? If you want to see Steven again, I want to be very careful. Can't be serious. Are you trying to get me killed? Do you want to see Stephen again? Yes. Yes, of course. I love him. He's my again. Already dead. Unless he, he unless she could be rebounded with his soul or something. But like, no. Then I suggest you listen to everything I say. All right. Once and for all. Put a stop to him. Jake? <laughs> That's not his real name. I knew it. His real name is William Adler. Rachel, that man has killed many people. And I can guarantee you he's out for more victims. I don't know what's driving him mad like this. But all I know. Okay, well, how do I do this? I don't know what to do. You're gonna be okay. Trust me. I need you to meet up with me in any Oxford Club location you can think of. If you want to see Stephen again and help stop these horrific murders, you need to come up with a plan. Plan. Thank you. My name's Henry, by the way. Henry Emily. Emily.
Bailey is a stupid last name. I'm just gonna say it. I don't understand why they chose that name for his last. All right, well, this was good. Upset a little bit that Steven's dead, but it's not like he, it mattered a little bit too much. Um, Yeah, I was right. That dude was Afton. I knew it. I could just hear it in his in his face. Um, Anyways, so this was um, episode two of the third part to the Incident Logs, uh, Pursuit. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot of thoughts. Uh, oh, it's scary scale. Not actually that scary, to be honest. The only kind of part I a little bit jumped at was when uh, they they glitched out the camera when he said dead the, the corpses in the back. Um, that that's like the only part that made me like oof. Everything else was kind of like eh. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Uh. Hope you all enjoyed watching us, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye!